Hello and welcome back to Windows 11 video series and here's a detailed step-by-step -step guide for a demo video on enabling developer mode in Windows 11. So let's get started. So here on Windows 11 machine to enable the developer mode in this machine we're going to start by opening right click on the start and directly we're going to opening open the setting app and here you can do this by clicking on the system and once you click on the system on the middle pane you will start seeing some different options now here on this system option if you keep scrolling down so under the multitasking you're going to find for developers and there's mention there's a description that is mentioned here that says these settings are intended for development use only so let's go to this option and here once you get in then all you need to do is to toggle the switch for the developer mode that is mentioned here and to turn it on so a confirmation dialog box will appear and you have to click yes to proceed so let's toggle on the switch to enable it and here's a confirmation prompt that has been appeared that is explaining that the developer mode is used for app development so let's click to the yes and once you click yes you will find that the developer mode is active now after you toggle on this button it seems that the developer mode is active but to further keep verifying that the developer mode is really active and working in the Windows 11 environment First, you can come back to the system and again open this, you know, for developer options and it shows this. And another way to verify it to go to the apps and here you're going to find advanced app settings. So click on the advanced app settings and here you need to verify that choose where to get the apps. If, if it's selected to anywhere, that means your developer mode is enabled. Because if the developer mode is enabled, tools like the Windows subsystem for Linux or device portal may also be accessible. And you can check by searching these tools in the start menu from here. But we have already located the device portal where for the developer tools. So let's scroll down and go back to that specific tool. And here we have the device portal. And if you expand it, so you're going to find there are a lot more other options that are available that helps you to modify your Windows 11 machine as a developer toolkit and here you can see it said that we are adding a new feature to this Windows machine to enable this device portal because currently this is not enabled by default in Windows 11 and whenever you enable this specific feature in your Windows 11 machine it needs to install some specific feature to provide the support to this specific option and there is another way to verify whether the developer mode is active or deactive in that system is to run the PowerShell commandlet and it will let you know whether the developer mode is on or off so I'm gonna copy the code and that I'm going to display on the screen but for this time I'm going to use the PowerShell of my local machine to show you that when the developer mode is not active how the outputs look like so let's execute the command and see what happens so here you can see that currently in this local machine the developer mode is not active the switch has been toggled off that's why you you're seeing and you're having this output result but if we run the same commandlet on this specific Windows 11 machine where we have already enabled the developer mode so let's see what the output comes and there you go it it shows that there will be nothing in the output in the result that means the developer mode is currently active and working so because enabling the developer mode provides access to features like site loading apps deploying packages and using tools to build and test your applications directly on this device so that's it 
you have successfully enabled the developer mode in Windows 11. Thank you for watching and happy coding. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you found this video helpful.